Good morning. Um, so today we're writing our final body paragraph for our raccoon essay. And so I'm going to be talking about my third reason, which is that it is just too difficult to provide the right kind of space for a raccoon in your home. Um, and I went through my articles earlier and made notes on my pros and cons page for where I could find some good evidence for that. So this should be pretty easy. Um, I started with telling the reader my, what my third reason is. And I said, finally, another important reason why you shouldn't keep a raccoon for a pet is that it is extremely difficult to give them the kind of space they need. Okay, and then I noticed that in article one, there was a really good quote about that and I marked it right there so I would know where to find it when I needed it. So I say in article one, Dr. Becker says that, quote, housing a raccoon can be a huge challenge, close quote. They, and then I went on to explain more about what she said without quoting it exactly. They are too destructive to just be left in the house, but locking them in a cage or even a room is unkind. Okay, there's my first piece of evidence to support this. Now, I marked in Article 2 another strong piece of evidence, and I was able to go right to it when I went to write this paragraph. So, my next piece of evidence, in Article 2, Cat Tertina explains that on some days raccoons will want to snuggle and play, but other days they will want their own space, so you need to have a room just for them. Now, I didn't quote her exactly. I just explained what she said, so I'm not using quotation marks here. Okay, and then I continued. Most people aren't able to provide an entire room in their house just for their pet. It seems almost impossible to give raccoons the kind of space they need in a typical human home. Ta-da! Done with body paragraph three. So I've got two pieces of evidence. And then my last kind of summing up sentence was, it seems almost impossible to give raccoons the kind of space they need in a typical human home. All right, now I'm gonna go back and read the whole thing from the beginning to end, just the whole paragraph. First, introductory sentence that tells the reader what this paragraph is gonna be about. Finally, Another important reason why you shouldn't keep a raccoon for a pet is that it is extremely difficult to give them the kind of space they need. First piece of evidence. In Article 1, Dr. Becker says that housing a raccoon can be a huge challenge. They are too destructive to just be left in the house, but locking them in a cage or even a room is unkind. All right, second piece of evidence. In Article 2, Cat Tratina explains that on some days raccoons will want to snuggle and play, but other days they will want their own space, so you need to have a room just for them. Most people aren't able to provide an entire room in their house just for their pet. Okay, concluding sentence. It seems almost impossible to give raccoons the kind of space they need in a typical human home. All done with my third body paragraph. All that's left now is the conclusion, and tomorrow I will post a video on how to write that. All right, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.